Hi everyone, this is Dee. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, shalom be to you all and God bless you all. Um, I have another message to deliver and I came across this sister in the Lord just recently. Um, so I have been praying in tongues about it and it sure enough is a word for every, every one of us. And um, it's actually a part two. So I'm going to recommend this channel to you. She is someone that has been hearing from the Lord. Um, and so I want to bow my head and bow my heart and say, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Abiyah, in Yeshua's mighty name, I pray, amen. So, um, it starts off, and so the shaking comes. It must come because I wish that none should perish because so many cling so tightly to the things of this earthly life. They must be forced to let go. All they have confidence in in this life will be shaken. It is passing away, just as my word says, and only that which cannot be shaken will remain. Only through this great shaking will eyes be opened. Then many will understand where true hope comes from. Again, I say, what has been will be again, just as in the days of Moses. The Exodus was about bringing my people out. It was about their deliverance. The time of deliverance has come. I am soon to bring my people out, just as it was a process then, so shall it be a process now. If you had sought me in my word, you would know this. Judgments, plagues, time in the wilderness, these are my tools to refine and purify. Why? Because of your lack of obedience, your lack of faith, your lack of love for my truth. You're willing to conform to the world and your lack of willingness to seek your God, the one who knit you together, the one who loved you before you were. The event many call the rapture will not happen as they expect it to. Only those who walk in the Spirit are ready. Many who call themselves by my name walk in the flesh. Again, I say it is time for the removal of the flesh. Those ready, those who have already died to the flesh, these are my first fruits. These I take first and fill them with my light to overflowing. My first fruits will carry my light as a day dawning across the land. Again, I say, if you had sought my truth in my word, you would know this. This brings my end time harvest of souls, those who have hungered for me and have sought after the meat of my word. They understand much about the deliverance of my people. The end time harvest, the three days of darkness and its significance. These are but a few truths from the meat of my word. And yet there are those who argue with and condemn, who speak those these things as I have given them. They condemn, accuse, even label those who are mine as false prophets and teachers, when they themselves have not even taken the time to ask the Creator, the one living God, what my truth is. Know this, in the days to come you will long for my truth, for the refining brings much unimaginable hardship, pain, and fear. Oh, that you would call upon my Son, Jesus Christ, your Messiah, the one who bled for you and died for you. Call upon him now before the great shaking takes hold, before it changes everything, what has been will be again. Get in my word and understand this, what is coming upon the earth, and understand me, and understand that my love for you is great, but destruction must come. The old is passing away, for I do a new thing now. It will spring forth. Fear not, trust me as things unfold, for I will even make a way in the wilderness.
just as before, know my love for you is much greater than you comprehend right now. But soon you will see I have prepared a remnant to do greater works in these last days. They shall comfort you through all the evil that comes. You must learn to trust me no matter what you see. So that's the end of that message. And her name is... I just found her. I just came across her and was praying about her. T.B. Shores. T.B. Shores is that sister's name. And her channel is Seek and Ye Shall Find. So I highly recommend her, brothers and sisters. That's the word for today. So it's encouraging for us. It's words of wisdom and encouragement for um, his true church. And he just wants everyone to understand uh, reasons and, um, and him. And he wants no one to perish. But time is going by. And he says it's time for no more flesh to be. Um, as far as we go, we get our incorruptible bodies. And thank God I have been praying uh, to him, uh, Abba Yah, uh, in Yeshua's name. I've been praying 1 Thessalonians 4, 17 and 18. I've been praying 1 Corinthians um, 15, 51 through 58 for weeks and weeks now. Just saying, Lord, I can hardly wait for my incorruptible body and to do those things that you have destined for me. So everybody, thank you so much for paying attention. I hope and pray that you will bring it before the Lord. Bring it to the Lord and uh, get confirmation just as I did today. So um, two thumbs up for TB Shores and her wonderful message. So we are going to be going home very soon now and we will await those things. The great destruction has to happen. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a blessed afternoon. And uh, until the next video, if there is one, okay, um, have a great night. Amen.